Hello students, today I will be giving a short lecture about the lesson communication system. In this first part of this lecture I will explain to you the elements of a communication system and the basic terminology used in modern communication system. Communication means it is the act of transfer transfer of transfer of information between a sender and a receiver. In modern communication system, the basic elements are the information source, transmitter, channel, noise, receiver and user of information. And the basic terminology used for communication system are transducer, signal, noise, transmitter, receiver, attenuation, amplification, range, bandwidth, modulation, demodulation and repeater. So in this lecture, I will give an explanation for all these basic concepts of communication. In communication, an information source means it can be a sound signal or it can be a visual. Means it can be the sound produced in a program or it can be the visual, the light reflected from a program. So the first step, the information source means a sound signal or the visual. It should be converted into an electric signal. So in transmitter, a transmitter is the first part of the uh, technological part of the communication system. A transmitter, transmitter converts a message signal, it can be in the form of sound or visual. A message signal will be converted into an electromagnetic wave which can be transmitted through a channel. So the first part of a transmitter is a transducer. Transducer. A transducer is a device which can convert any form of physical energy, a physical variable into another form, a, a one form of energy into another form. But in communication system, usually we use an electrical transducer. An electrical transducer, electrical transducer, an electrical transducer it converts uh, any form of physical variable, uh, any form of energy into electrical energy. Example for transducer, a mic is a transducer, a microphone is a transducer. A mic consists of a soft diaphragm connected with a voice coil, a thin copper coil. And the coil will be kept between two poles, north and south poles of a magnet. So when we produce a sound signal, due to the vibration of sound, the diaphragm vibrates. Along with the diaphragm, the voice coil also vibrates between the magnets. So according to Faraday's electromagnetic induction, uh, according to the frequency of vibration of the voice coil, it will produce a varying electric current. According to the rhythm of the sound or the music, a varying electric current will be produced in the microphone. So, microphone, MIC, mic, is an electrical transducer. It can convert sound energy into electrical energy or sound energy into sound waves into electrical signal. The same way we can consider a video camera as a transducer. It can convert a visual, the right light reflector from a program in, into electrical signal that is called video signal. Here the signal produced by the mic is called audio signal. So the first component of a transmitter will be a transmitter.
transducer. It converts the information. The information can be in the form of sound or a visual that is converted into electrical signal by transducer. So transducer is coming here also in the basic terminology. The transducer, the first one is the transducer which converts uh, signal in the form of sound or visual into an electrical signal. After that, inside the transmitter, this signal cannot be transmitted directly as it because uh, during when it is traveling through the channel, okay, its energy can be absorbed by the channel and it cannot reach far away distance. So for that, we have to superimpose this message signal on a high frequency carrier wave. For that process is called that process is called modulation. Modulation. Modulation means superimposing this message signal on a high frequency carrier wave. So in a transmitter, there will be an oscillator which produces high frequency carrier wave in kilohertz or megahertz. And this high frequency carrier wave and this audio signal, message signal, will be superimposed. That process is called modulation. About modulation in detail, we'll discuss in another video. So here in the transmitter, after modulating, superimposing the audio signal on the high frequency carrier wave, then it will be transmitted through the antenna. It will be transmitted through the antenna through the channel. So channel is the physical medium. Channel is the physical medium which connects between the transmitter and receiver. The channel can be a air, it can be space, it can be an optical fiber cable, it can be the copper coaxial cable. So channel, it depends, the channel is the physical medium which connects between transmitter and receiver. In radio transmission, we can have the air as the uh, channel and sometimes in space communication we can use the space as well as air as the channel. In some case of telephonic communication we can use coaxial cable or optical fiber as the channel. And in channel there is uh, another factor called noise. Noise is some unwanted signals which can disturb, which can distort the message signal that we are transmitting through the channel. So noise can be produced because of any uh, variation in electric field in the medium. It can be, the noise can be produced inside the transmitter itself or it can be from the medium outside. For example, during the radio transmission, if there is a lightning, lightning which will produce some electromagnetic wave, that electromagnetic wave can mix up with the uh, message signal which is carried by the carrier wave and at the user level it can produce some distortion in the original message signal. So noise can be produced inside the device itself or it can be from the outside uh, in, in the channel like an electric field vibration or any other uh, variation in electric field that can produce electromagnetic waves and that can mix with the uh, signal that you are sending through the channel. Then receiver, receiver is the next part of the uh, elements of communication. Receiver, uh, it receives the electromagnetic waves uh, either from the, uh, from the space or from a cable and that receiver converts the electromagnetic wave received and it will demodulate, first of all it will demodulate. Demodulation means removing the carrier wave from the message signal. The front, so or the, uh, the demodulation means it is the extraction, extraction of the message signal from the carrier wave which is already modulated. So receiver uh, receives a particular signal from a particular station uh, by using a tuning circuit. You know the tuning circuit will be an LCR circuit at resonance. You studied in AC alternating current. In the tuning circuit, LCR circuit, it will receive at resonance only one particular station and the signal received from that particular station will be amplified first of all using a radio frequency amplifier and then the message signal will be filtered from that by using a diode circuit and again it will be amplified by using uh, audio frequency amplifier and finally 
that uh, message signal, the extracted message signal will be given to the user or at the information, user of information. It can be given to the user of information either through a loudspeaker or through a picture tube of a TV in the form of visual or in the form of sound. So these are the main uh, elements of communication. It starts with the, the information source once again. It can be a sound signal, a sound or a visual of a program. It should be converted into uh, electromagnetic waves, can be transmitted through a medium. That process is done by the transmitter. So in transmitter, the first part of the transmitter is a transducer which converts the sound or the visual signal into electro electric electromagnetic electrical energy, electrical signal, and that electrical signal will be mixed with the, a carrier frequent carrier wave, high frequency carrier wave, that process is called modulation, and the modulated signal will be passed through the antenna, through the channel, channel is the physical medium which connects between transmitter and receiver, and receiver, it receives the signal from the channel, uh, a particular station will be received by using a tuner circuit, and that signal will be amplified by using a radio frequency amplifier inside the receiver. Then uh, the next process is called demodulation, opposite of modulation, in which the message signal will be extracted from the uh, modulated signal and carrier will be removed from that. And after further amplification by using an uh, audio frequency amplifier, that will be given to the loudspeaker or it will be given to the picture tube of a TV to see the visual or to hear the sound once again. In between uh, transmitter and receiver, when the signal passes through the channel, there can be disturbance of noise, unwanted signal, which can distract uh, the message signal. Uh, that can be avoided by different techniques that will explain in the coming uh, explanations. And other uh, basic terminologies are the transducer, already we explained, signal, is the electrical variation of a particular physical variable like sound or video and noise it is a disturbance in the medium which can dis distra distort the signal and transmitter we explained already receiver we explained attenuation attenuation means uh, decreasing the energy of the uh, signal when it is transmitted through a channel because of the resistance of the channel and sometimes due to the inducing of current in the medium of the channel, it can reduce the energy of the uh, waves that we are transmitted from the transmitter. So attenuation means decreasing the energy of the wave, energy of the signal due to the resistance or absorption of the medium. We will come to that in details and further explanation. Uh, and another one is amplification. Amplification is opposite of attenuation. It is the strengthening the energy of the signal that is done in receiver. Range means it is the maximum possible distance up to which the, the signal can be received by a receiver. It depends upon the height of the antenna, it depends upon the energy of the signal, the frequency of the signal, etc. We'll come to in details afterwards. Bandwidth, it is the maximum frequency range needed for transmitting a particular signal. For example, for speech signal, telephonic communication, uh, when we are talking to each other, the minimum frequency is 310 Hz and the maximum frequency is 3000 Hz. So in between 3000 and 310 Hz, nearly 2900 Hz frequency variation is required as bandwidth for transmitting speech signal. So for telephonic communication, we need a frequency range of 2800 to 2900 Hz. Modulation already we explained. It is the process of superimposing a message signal on a high frequency carrier wave. The process of superimposing of a message signal on a high frequency carrier wave is called modulation. Demodulation is the opposite process that is extracting the message signal from the modulated signal and the last one is repeater. Repeater means sometimes uh, to extend, to increase the range of the receiver, to increase the range of the communication means the distance between the transmitter and receiver. When the signal passes through the channel, in between the transmitter and receiver, when the signal passes through a channel, 
due to the absorption of the channel, due to the resistance of the channel, sometimes the signal strength will decrease. So, in between transmitter and receiver, we can keep a repeater. The repeater will be consist of transponders. It can uh, receive a signal, it will amplify the signal and retransmit again in another direction. So that we can increase the range of the uh, transmitter by keeping a repeater in between transmitter and receiver. Example for repeater, a satellite, a communication satellite is a, is a repeater. It uh, receives signals from the earth station to amplify, re-amplify and retransmit once again to another direction so that we can receive signal from a large distance. Uh, so repeater is required always for increasing the range of transmission. So these are the basic terminologies needed for uh, studying about communication system. In the next videos I will be explaining in details about all other uh, concepts involved in communication system. Thank you, thank you for watching this video.